Persistence always overcomes resistance In the words of Mr. Magic Not to be confused with the magician Hat tricks out the bag Look at what the cat done drugging Cousin, if you don't know, you're bugging It's about to be a mugging My brother George is here Saw this clear as I pour beer for years More to share, cheers It's good to see you back, boss Game ain't changed since the crack to Iraq wars Villain, drooling, still shares last snack bar Feeding these churrins with the knack off the black tar And swerving double lines, rubber wines been through Nerve to beat the odds when they're against you with a pencil It's all in the mental, ooh, saw what he said Metal face doom, open doors with his forehead Calling hands free wireless, the burnout plan And the fans be tireless Turns out what is up guys welcome to another episode of maximilian must know today we're doing my favorite of the five lists that i do at the end of the year um best samples worst 10 fragrances best niche and best designer and this one is discount purchases now what i mean by that is these are fragrances that i either got given to me or a deal or a steal or just fragrances that I think are generally underpriced and can be found and had for what I think is a great deal. Um, the sort of criteria that I set for this is um, if you're niche, you've got to be under 100 and if you're designer, you got to be under 50. To me, those are sort of good values and there's different reasons different fragrances are on this list. Now keep in mind, these are not fragrances, none of these lists are fragrances that were released in 2014, I mean, they might have been, but what I'm generally doing here is I'm talking about fragrances that I bought in 2014. I bought 227 fragrances in 2014. My collection is a 427 as of now, so I have a lot. Uh, I buy a lot, and so, you know, I'm in a good, a good place to rate my collection. So let's start it off with six. Yeah, we're doing six honorable mentions this year. I know it's crazy. And uh, real quick, one more note. Next, this year, because I'm buying so few fragrances, few one a week or two a week. I know that's not few, but fewer than I did. When we get to the end of 2015, it's not gonna be the best that I purchased in 2015. It's just gonna be the top 10 overall. So it'll be top 10 value purchases of all time. Top 10 designer purchases of all time. So there you go. So I don't wanna take any more time. Let's start the list off with six honorable mentions. What a break. Honorable mention number one is a fragrance that Man, if you find this motherfucker, buy it. Because I I just I just remember buying this and just being like, whoa, I found something here. And it was 10 bucks, never heard of it before. Uh, did look it up on Fragrantica and people said it reminded them of Angel, not men, just Angel. Um, and I sort of see that, but I think it's better than Angel. To me, it's almost like a cross between Angel and Plum Jap and Wah, because you get that or plum Japanese, I don't know if that's pronounced. But you get that 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 like spice, but then you also do get a real plum and sandalwood note. I paid eight dollars for this, guys, from the House of Times. This one is called Lotus Santal, and that is honorable mention number one. If you find it, buy it. Honorable mention number two is from my friend Brett Leonicio and his house smell bent. Now I know there's a fragrance called Burning Leaves by CBI Hate Perfumes and that sort of smells like full. I think it's a hundred bucks. Um, I've smelled it. It's, uh, it's a good fragrance. I mean, I didn't really get a great whiff of it, um, but I like this one better. And this one's 50 bucks for 50 ml. Um, and to me, it's sort of what I describe this fragrance is I say, imagine a uh, small New England town and you're coming home from school five o'clock around Halloween and there are leaves on the ground and fireplaces are just starting to burn and the air has that real full aura to it. That's exactly what this smells like from the House of Smell Bent. This is from his Frank and Smelly series and this one is called The Fall. The Fall is honorable mention number two. I think I paid $50 for it. Honorable mention number three is one you guys know I am not a rose guy, you know um, I think I have two rose scents or maybe I have Rouge Avignon by Fade on I think there's another one that, that I'm forgetting that has a predominant rose note in it But I'm just not the biggest rose fan like I don't like Lyric Man um, I said Rouge Avignon by Fade on I hope I didn't say I'm a wash um, but uh, I didn't like Lyric Man. I'm just not a big Rose guy. I know there's some guys in the community, my friend Renee, who loves Rose, and I understand. It's just not for me. Um, but there have been a few Rose scents I've found that I just really 
enjoy and this is one of them and I picked this one up for $10 you can too and it is just an unbelievably unisex rose it smells like a bouquet of roses with the stems and just the entire flower it has crazy uh, performance and it's just an awesome fragrance from the house of um, perfumers workshop honorable mention number three is just called tea rose and i really like that fragrance i wear it my, i got my mother into wearing it i'm gonna have to make her a decant up of that because she really likes that one too next honorable mention uh if you guys watched my 10 most regrettable purchases one of them was zerzhoff lira and the reason why i regret it i like it is because this one to me smells exactly like it it doesn't perform as well but it's pretty close and from this one was $25 for 50 ml. Uh, Sebastian Manlos Cologne put me onto this one. He's put me onto a lot of these, or just a lot of fragrances in general. So, you know, I thank him. Uh, from the house of Lawrence Dumont, honorable mention number four is called Tundra Madeline. S smells just like a fresh baked Madeline. So, right on the money there. Honorable mention number five is one that I, this is my third bottle of this. I wore this before I got into Fragcom, before I really started getting into fragrances. You know, I just smelled this at Sephora. Sephora used to stock fragrances by Zerz, E-I-R-H, because they used to stock their men's line. I think some still might, their grooming line. And I just remember smelling this one day and being like, whoa, like this is the best fall fragrance I've ever smelled. What this is to me is it's a commercial or mass appeal version of Gucci Porum 2, or Gucci Porum 1 and Comme Garçon 2 Man. It's nutmeg, ginger, uh, grapefruit, cinnamon. From the house of Cor uh, Zur, this one is called Corduroy. And this one is just off the charts good. I think this was 15 bucks for just a 4.2 ounce bottle. No, this is a 75 ml bottle, and I think it was 12 bucks. So check out uh, Corduroy Boy Zur. That's my fifth honorable mention. And my final honorable mention, I said, a while ago, I'm starting to get into floral leathers. I really like uh, Cure Canage by Dior. Um, I really want to try the Hermes new Hermesence one. I think it's called Cure d'Ange, which means uh, Leather of the Angels. But you have to respect the architect, and the architect was this fragrance right here. It's called Knees 10 uh, by the House of Knees, and it does smell like a very floral leather, but there's birch tar in it, and it's sort of rough too. It sort of strikes a great uh, juxtaposition between being very masculine and sort of being very soft. So definitely check that one out. That is my final honorable mention. I think that one, uh, you can get a 50 ml for that, I think for like 60 or $70. So here we go. Top 10 best buys in 2014. Let's set it off. The first one, I've talked about this a million times and I'm going to stick with it. Um, if Profum Aroma made this and charged $240 for it, people would be eating it up. It's that good, it performs that well. It was a blind buy for me and it was one of those blind buys where you strike gold. From the house of Aqualina, this one is called Gold Sugar. And I'm just gonna say two things about this, creme brulee and coconut, go buy it. Number nine on this list, what's better than free? Uh, I actually didn't get this one for free. You guys probably know Bond Number Nine runs a promotion, I think twice a year, where you bring in, you actually don't have to bring it in, but they want you bring in an empty fragrance bottle, they call it recycling, and they'll give you a 100 ml tester free. Um, you have to buy two things. So I bought a 50 ml of Shelter Island, and I bought my mother uh, for her birthday, a the Madison Square Park body cream. So I think those two together were like 275, and then I got my choice of a free 100 ml uh, fragrance. They don't have everything, like they don't have the Saks exclusive or the Herod exclusive. They won't give you like the Ouds or the expensive ones. But the main the main fragrances like New Harlem, Central Park. Uh, Riverside Drive, you can get those. And the one that I picked was there, they only had one of these and I got their first and I got it. This is called Bleecker Street. Um, I was gonna buy a bottle of this this year anyway in 2014, so I figured I might as well just pay the money, get 100 ml of this, and then get the other two things for free. Um, I love this, blueberry thyme, very fresh, but different than, than your normal freshies. This one's like a much higher quality. I don't know if this is an eau de parfum, uh, it is an eau de parfum. So really, really good performance. It's it's maybe my favorite Bond number nine, and, and that's saying something because I have seven from this house now. 
uh, but I really do like Bleecker Street. So, and I said it's free, right? So um, it is what it is. Even if you break it up that I paid for each item, it's still under $100. So that is number nine. Number eight is one that got a credit. Again, I give credit where credit is due. And this one, I'm gonna credit my buddy Griggy Boy. Um, he did a review on this one. He totally put me on to it. I was gonna buy Tuscan leather and I saw this and I was like, I gotta find this. I tracked it down, I think in Dubai. Uh, free shipping, it was 90 bucks, but it took like three weeks to get to me. I do not think it's as good as Tuscan leather. I think Tuscan leather is a better set. I think Black Saffron by Byredo is a better scent, but I think this is the best value and it's still a very good leather, but it's like a, it's like a real pimpish leather, very, um, smells expensive. Uh, and from the house of um, Rasasai, this one is called La Yukawam Porom. That one is my number 1098, number eight uh, best value fragrance of 2014. I'm gonna try to pull this back, yep. Okay, so we're at seven. Seven, are we at seven? <laughs> 10, nine, eight, seven, yeah, we're at seven. Seven is one that I got at the Bendel sale. Um, I wanted something from Lubon, but I really just didn't, I don't like Idol as much as other people do. I don't know why. It just doesn't seem that different to me. So I really went through all of them and I spent some time with all of them. And the one that I really enjoy, and this is my Holy Grail Vanilla. It's, mine is not Spiritus Double Vanille because I'm going to tell you why. Spiritus Double Vanille, you can get for 40 bucks with a fragrance called Le Couvent de Minami Eau de Michon. They're very, very close. And I just don't think it's worth the money. This one, I have not spelled, it's not anything else like this. This one is vanilla, cognac, and ambrette seed. That's all that I get out of this. But that cognac, that ambrette seed, and that vanilla together make this a very heady, uh, very sort of um, upscale and expensive smelling vanilla. I love this fragrance. Uh, with the disc, with the sale, I paid eighty dollars for it from the house of Corrigan, from the house of uh, Lubon. This one is just called Corrigan. Definitely check this out if you're a vanilla fanatic. Number number six. Um, this is what happens when you smoke pot for uh, fucking twenty years for ten times a day. No, uh, your memory goes a little bit, uh, but I haven't smoked in five years so just want to keep that on the record in case employers or future employers watch this um and not say no to drugs for the record i'm anti-drug and pro-family uh so number six is from the house now this one i remember used to seeing these at barney's and i was just never really interested in them but i like the bottles and then when i saw testers going for the rumors this company was done and i saw testers on ebay going for 15 I was like, let me grab one, see what it's all about. Now I got number 11 and I love it. I love this fragrance. It is a true myrrh and licorice fragrance. It's got a great smell to it. I bought number 14, which I don't like as much, but if you can find number 11 for what I paid $15, definitely pick up serious number 11 pour homme. I wish it had the top, the cap, because it's a beautiful wooden cap, but uh, I'll take it for 15 bucks. And this is a great fragrance. Please do check it out. Number number five. Uh, this is one that if the review isn't up, it's coming. Uh, I used to see this one on Lucky Scent, and I was really curious about it. Um, and finally, what happened is I just saw it on Amazon, really cheap. Uh, and I was like, I'm buying it. I think it was $45, and I really like it. It's a very, it, it, to me, it sort of reminds me of a gray musk, if that makes any sense. Like, it's a little bit, it's a smooth animalic ambergris fragrance and there's not much that smells like it almost an eccentric molecule fragrance and then it just sort of sits on the skin but makes you smell really good uh from the house of balmain my fifth pick is ambergris and i think that was a 40 dollars fragrance number four again nothing is better than free um and if you haven't seen the video i did on this yet it should be up it, it's coming but i'm pretty sure it's up by now uh, you know, you, many of you guys know, you know, I don't, I don't fuck with everybody in Freycom. There's a few people like that I really fuck with heavy and that like I consider good friends. And one of them is Rene Zayas. He's just, I think we're very similar, uh, in our lives and, and I support him no matter what. Like if he never reviewed a fragrance again and he called me up and he needed something and I could help him and 
no questions asked. And so you guys probably know he works at Saks now and he hit me up and he was like, yeah, you want to do something where, you know, we'll send you fragrances and you give your honest opinion, you know, always give your honest opinion and just shout, shout, you know, our department hours. Of course, man, like you don't even have to ask me. So he said he was going to send me um, a, like a travel atomizer of a fragrance and, um, and I, I would do the video. And he's just, he's just a real giving guy. And I don't know how, but he got me a 10 ml bottle of this from the manufacturer and I really like it. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not in love with it, but I wanted a fragrance in this my, from this house in my collection forever. And yes, I'm still gonna buy a full bottle of one of their fragrances, maybe this one. But uh, I, this is a special fragrance to me because I got it from Renee. So from the house of Clive Christian, this is a 10 ml of V, and that is number four, V for men. Number three is one that, um, look, here's the reality of the situation with number three. If you have $10 to spend on a fragrance, your, your selection's limited, right? You can do all rehab. There's a lot of cheap shit you can get, but you're not going to get anything most of the time that great. Well, you can get this, and you can get Intense Oud. This one is called Secret Amber from the house of Yovan. It reminds me a lot of 24 karat gold. If you just had this, Secret Amber and Intense Oud, you'd have a decent rotation for yourself for 20 bucks. So uh, Yovan Secret Amber is my number three pick for best value fragrance of 2014. My number two is another one my man Sebastian put me on to. This one is probably the best designer cheapie I've ever smelled. Um, now, I need to go back and check what I did last year and what I talked about. Next year will be the real test to see one of my collections number one in terms of value. But uh, this is, I call this a gourmand incense because it's got incense, but then it also has like this cinnamon, powdery cinnamon vibe that's so unusual. Uh, it does, you know, I told Adriana from Decan Shop to buy this and she was like, Max, doesn't this smell a lot like um, Omar Jean by Lalique? And I was like, I don't think so. And I went back to Omar Jean because I have a bottle of it. And I was like, you know what, she's right. These smell pretty, pretty similar, but I like this one better. This was $26, I think, and the presentation is Benoodles too. The bottle really is like a sculpture from the house of Malbusson. This one is called M Generation. Look at that bottle. And the way you do the cap is it's it's locked like that and you want to spray it. Boom. Crazy fragrance off the chain. Number one. So this is one, I'm not giving anyone credit on this one because I found this motherfucker. Um, you know, what I do is I sort of look, I scour the internet to try to find indie houses that I haven't heard of. And, you know, I like, I, sometimes I like, I just hit them up and I'm like, you want to give me samples? I'll do a video, da, da, da. And I found this house and um, I, I just, you know, the, the fragrances were cheap enough that I was like, I'm just going to buy one. So I bought it, I got it, and I was like, wow. I was like, this smells like tobacco for me, and it's 30 bucks. So I was like, am I bugging? You know, like, is it just me? So I went to a few people who have tobacco for me that I know, and I was like, they're like, yeah, it smells like tobacco for me. I let the community know, Louis Jorno, Louis Jorno, my city messiah, he got a bottle, he was like, damn, Max, you're right. You know, this smells like, this smells like tobacco for me. Um, then Daver from Fragrance Bros got a bottle. He was like, I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't get tobacco vanilla out of it. I do. Um, and then I hit the owner up and I was like, yo, listen, I'm gonna do a video. Can you send me some other stuff? Yada, yada, yada. So he sent me like nine fucking 15 ml bottles of their shit and two 30 ml bottles. And what I'll say about this house is they do a lot of stuff that smells like other stuff. Like I think Daver pointed one out that smelled like Amber Absolute. And he's got a fragrance called uh, Society de Centaur. That smells like, um, that smells like, um, whatchamacallit, um, French Lover by Frederick Ma. But then he also has fragrances that are totally original. So this is a house that if you haven't checked it out, you're bugging because he's prolific, he's creative, and his fragrances are fucking 60 ml for $32. Now, I didn't want to pay tobacco vinny money to smell like tobacco vinny. Because I know too many people that wear tobacco for me. And I don't gotta pay more than $200 for fragrance to smell like every other shithead out there. Not that the people that I know who wear it are shitheads. A few of them are, but not all of them. So, 
Um, but I will pay $32 to smell like tobacco for knee, and that's exactly what I did. I paid $32 to smell like tobacco for knee. My number one value fragrance for 2014 is from the house of West Third Brand, and this one is called Tobacco 1812. So there you go, guys. That is my best value purchases in 2014. I'll be back next week, and we're going to do the top 10 designer. Really stoked for that. Hope you guys enjoy that one. I'll see you all again real soon. My name is Max let me get on stage with you. Pop goes the weasel. So hot that I'm diesel. Nowadays I couldn't paint this picture better on the easel. But back then I didn't know what was truly the prize. Soon after I'm on tour with Fuji's and Nas. Such a great honor. I wasn't ready. I was late, Bana. My whole shit paused like a straight comma. I had to search within, take the wrong, make it right. Met my broken wings, so once again I take flight. Now I'm free as the wind. Don't know where to begin. I gather my thoughts every time I breathe in.